The full text of respected Kim Jong-un's famous work, let us march forward dynamically to his final victory, holding higher the banner of Sun-gun, was recently carried by the Bangladesh newspaper Daily Folk. In the meantime, the detailed gist of his work on bringing about a revolutionary turn in land administration in line with the demands for building a thriving socialist country was recently posted on the internet homepage of the All Union Bolshevik Communist Party of Russia along with a photo of Kim Jong-un. Respected Kim Jong-un received congratulatory messages and letters from different countries on the occasion of the New Year, Zuche 102 or 2013. The senders include the President of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia and party leaders of different countries, including Malaysia, Bangladesh, Germany, Russia, Benin, Egypt, Mexico, and Peru. Messages and letters also came from the Director General of the International Institute of the Tsuchi Idea, who is Secretary General of the International Kim Il sung Prize Council and Secretary General of the International Kim Jong Il Prize Council, the Co Chairman of the Kim Il sung Kim Jong Il Foundation, the General Director of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the Secretary General of the International Liaison Committee for Reunification and Peace of Korea and dignitaries of the political, social, military, and economic circles of different countries, including China, Mongolia, Iran, Denmark, Sweden, Guinea, Nigeria, and Ecuador, and representatives of the international organizations, Tsuchi Idea Study Organizations, and organizations for support to Korea's reunification and for friendship with Korea. The messages and letters sent the Korean army and the people won brilliant victories in the revolutionary struggle and construction and demonstrated the might of perfect unity more powerfully last year in form unity around Kim Jong-un. They expressed the belief that the Korean people would make a constant progress in their efforts for building a prosperous nation this year too and sincerely wished Kim Jong-un good health. The Mexican Committee for the Study of Kim Il-Songism, Kim Jong-ilism, the Mexican Institute of the Tsuchi Idea, and the Bangladesh Group for the Study of Sungun Policy recently carried the detailed gist of the New Year address of respected Kim Jong-un in their bulletins. Reading sessions on the New Year address of respected Kim Jong-un recently took place at the Workers' Party of Mexico, the Romanian Socialist Union, and the United Left Movement of Dominica. Speakers at the sessions highly praised that the cause of independence, the cause of Sun-gun, pioneered and led by great Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il, is being successfully carried forward to completion by Kim Jong-un. They expressed the full support to the tasks and the ways for the building of a thriving nation and for national reunification indicated by respected Marshal Kim Jong-un in his New Year address. Debabrata Bishwas, General Secretary of the Central Committee of the All India Forward Bloc, expressed the full support to the New Year address of respected Kim Jong-un. At the talks with the DPRK Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to his country on the 10th, General Secretary Biswas said the historic New Year address of respected Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of the Korean people, shook the world. It is a great honor and pride of the Korean people to have Kim Jong-un at the head of the party, state and army, who is steadfastly carrying forward to completion the revolutionary cause of the great Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. The victory of the Korean people in their revolutionary cause is certain thanks to the outstanding and seasonal leadership of Kim Jong-un, he stressed. All party cell secretaries' meeting will be held grandly in the capital Pyongyang when the entire party, the whole country and all people are powerfully accelerating general march of this year in support of the historic New Year dress of respected Kim Jong-un. 
The meeting provided by Kim Jong-un will be participated in by the party cell secretaries who have contributed to the strengthening and development of the Workers' Party of Korea and the prosperity of the country. Now, recommendation of the participants and the preparations for the meeting are underway in the whole party. The Taedonggang Terrapin Farm is being rapidly expanded for the betterment of the people's living in Korea. Advanced breeding methods have been introduced for increased production of bullfrogs, tropic goldfishes and freshwater lobsters, as well as terrapins at the modern Taedonggang Terrapin Farm built under the energetic guidance of the great Kim Jong-il. At present, the farm is building another terrapin and freshwater lobster breeding grounds covering hundreds of thousands square meters with several blocks of indoor and open-air nurseries, hatching room and feed processing room. Tideland reclamation projects are actively promoted in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The officials and workers of the Tideland Reclamation Complex of North Pyongan Province in charge of the Hongondo Tideland Reclamation Project have finished the first damming up of thousands of meters embankment number no. 4 at the beginning of the year linking two islands. On the other hand, the officials and builders of the Ryongmedo Tideland Reclamation Project have removed more than 10,000 cubic meters of earth and done stone coating in the area of hundreds of square meters in recent days, building tens of meters embankment on the sea. Ten best players and coaches in Chuche 101 or 2012 were selected in the DPRK. The best players are judoist An Gum A, weightlifters Kim Un Guk, Om Yun Chul, Rim Jong Sim, and Liang Chun Hua, boxer Park Kyung Ok, wrestler Yang Kyung Il, gymnast Ri Se Gwang, and model plane operators Ri Kwang Il and Kim Won Chul. They proved successful at the 30th Olympic Games, World and Asian Championships, and at the International and National Games last year. The best coaches include Ryu Chu Song, Park Gi Song, Ri Chun Kyung, and Kim Chun Hee, who are in charge of DPRK judoists and weightlifters during the 30th Olympics. The South Headquarters of the Pan National Alliance for Korea's Reunification in South Korea released a commentary on the 10th concerning the unjust ruling of the Constitutional Court. The commentary criticized the ruling of Constitutional Court, which maintained that it is not illegal to make a surprise search of email with a prior notice in case of emergency. It said it will resist the security authorities' violation of democracy and human rights. The Kyungi Provincial Solidarity for Progress held a press conference in Seoul on the 13th and said it is precisely a violation of human rights that the intelligence service illegally shadowed a member of a progressive organization. A joint statement was recently issued by five political parties and organizations of Belarus, including the Communist Workers' Party, the Social Federation, for the Union and Union's Communist Party, and the Belarus DPRK National Fellowship Association, named after Kim Il-sung, in support of the Korean people's cause of national reunification. The statement said the situation of the Korean peninsula has been worsened because of the imperialistic policy of the United States, which refuses to solve the issues of key importance. It exposed the aim of the United States to stifle the DPRK, a strategic point, and dominate the whole of the Korean peninsula. The statement gave an active support to the Sungun policy of Korea, which forced the military aggression of the United States.
The Memorandum of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the DPRK, dissolution of the UN command is an essential demand to defend the peace and stability of the Korean Peninsula and the Asia-Pacific region, was reported in different countries on the 14th and the 15th. The Chinese Xinhua News Agency, People's Daily, News Network of the Communist Party, Network of the Ministry of National Defense, Global Network, Guangming Network, News Network, Economic Network, Reference News Network and the Internet homepages and Hong Kong Phoenix Satellite Division, the Russian Itartas, the USAP and the Japanese Gyodo News and ZZ Press reported a memorandum saying the DPRK demanded the United States immediately dissolve the UN command.